And good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is Mr. Kassarian, and welcome back to the episode of Minecraft. Now, as you guys guessed, we're doing some work today. Okay? Okay. All right. Let's get started then. So I built another power acceptor, hooked that up, changed that wiring back there a little bit, so we should be good. Now, what we're going to do is a little bit... I have to switch that back again. And by the way, it took me like five seconds to move this. One of the great things about applied energistics. So we need to access the crap that's in these barrels, all right? And we're going to do that in a bit of an interesting way, I think. And yeah, so what I think I'm going to do is there's the upgrade. We've used it, actually. Yeah, the void upgrade, okay? And we're also going to want... Let's see. So the void upgrade is two pistons, right? So I'm going to need two more of them. If you notice, I don't have access to cobble yet in my network. Uh, so I'm going to need a total of four of these. And then we just need some obsidian. And I have more of... Ooh. Oh, that's bad. Oops. Okay. Uh, we're getting more pistons for other stuff then. Uh, this is irritating. I'm not certain how many I overcrafted by, so. Let's just guess, I think. So we have more than we need. All right, well, that's fine. We'll end up using these. Oops, and I put the wrong ones back. All right. Void upgrades. There we go. We need three of them, right? So I made one extra, so I made just made too many pistons. Okay, so one, two, three, right? Right, okay. So with that done, we just need some of those structural upgrades, right? Because we need to go up to... All right, so, that's, so I need two more. All right. So let's do... Oh, for heaven's sakes. All right. There we go. It's never easy, is it? Okay, so we need one. Are you kidding me? That's one, two. I need one more. Okay, good. Then, we need more of those. Oh, really? Okay, fine, 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 fine. I'm just going to stack of sticks. How about that? Is that easier? I think so. This is the one thing I didn't pre-prep. All right, clear the whole thing. Let's try that again. Except I actually... One, two, so that's one, two, right? Right, okay, good. Okay, awesome. So we go one, two, three, one, two, three, and then we go one, two, three. Okay, so now they have void upgrades on them, and you guys remember what the void upgrades do, right? Right. Okay, so the next thing we're going to need to make are some of these storage buses. Okay, and I'll show you what they do. Don't worry. And we'll just need some ME interfaces. Let's go one, two, three, four. Okay. We'll get a fifth anyways, just because we need it. Uh... All right, and then we're just going to do this. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay. And now all we need to do is get back here and put these guys on. All right. And then, so we're going to go like that. So we can tell by right-clicking, you can specify what goes in here. Uh, you only have two access and two rows open to specify. You can put some upgrades in to increase that. But basically what the storage bus does is that it acts like a it 
allows the ME network. And let me do this as well, because we want to actually configure the priority. So let's go up by 10 on each of these. Higher priority, better, just like um, whatever that mod is called. Ender IO. There we go. All right, so we're going to set you to 10. Can I help you? And let's check that again. Okay, good. And we're going to take that out, put gravel in here, set priority to 10. Okay, so basically what this is going to do for me is it's going to allow me to access the inventories in these barrels. Okay. So if I look at this, I can probably now see, yep, cobblestone, gravel, and dirt in there. And if I pull it out, all right, you can see I'm to 62 plus 50. I put it back in, 63 plus 50. Awesome. Okay. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to craft something a little new. Did I already clear this chest out? I did. Look at me. I'm smart. I'm smart. To be bossed about it. All right. So we want to get a new type of conduit. And this new type of conduit... is around here somewhere. All right, let's do it this way. Ender, Ender IO. There we go, ME conduit. I don't know why it wasn't showing up. So basically what we're looking at is ME conduit, just like we're used to. ME cabling, just like we know and love. Okay. But there's a dense version too. And there we go. It works just like standard Ender IO conduits do. Nice, right? Right. I am quite partial to it myself, actually. So let's come out. How do I want to run this crap? Yeah, let's run it out back to here and then down. All right. Now, the nice thing about it is that in all respects, it's just like standard conduit. All right. So just like the stuff we've been using for quite some time, it works the exact same way. There's no real difference to it. Actually, we can have this just coming down the middle, I think. And the nice thing is you can also toggle its connections. You can do all the stuff that you can do with Ender IO conduits, all right? Including putting it into the same block space as all of your other conduits. Nice, right? Right. So you can have your item conduits, your ME conduits, everything running around like you'd like to see it. Okay, here's the only downside to it. And we can actually, how do I wanna do this now? This is where things get a little bit tricky. Because it's cycling them. That's, what's it, that's what it's doing. It's cycling them. You know what? I'll leave most of this system intact. The downside to the enemy conduit is that you can't put these things on it. So if I... See, I can't. Yeah, I can't connect them. Okay. They won't go into the same block. Um, the author at present is rewriting the code to allow that, but it's going to take a little while. So we just have to transition over to regular, you know, any junk. Okay. So then what we're going to do is we're going to throw this guy on here, right? We'll get a piece of cobblestone out. And what we're going to tell it is that you store cobble at a priority of nine. Okay? So priority nine, you store cobble. You also store compressed cobble and double compressed cobble. Okay? Because that's really all we should be seeing in our system. And then this has quadruple compressed. Double compressed. Let's just get a piece of this out just to teach this system as well that it stores triple compressed. Okay. 
Now, the reason you guys may have noticed, oops, the reason, as I was saying, that I have, I'm leaving a lot of my item conduits in place is because I'm a little concerned um, and I don't, so ME networks have things called channels and right now we're limited to eight channels and a channel is used up whenever an item try is capable of sending data. So the drive is one, the interface is two, and then we have these four connectors here, that's six, and then we have seven, okay? So I can put one more on this network, all right? Just one, that's all I can do, all right? So if, for example, I came over here, how screwed up are you? Oh, wow, that's nice. So it, it sorted itself out, probably not the most efficiently. So if, for say, I ran a cable all the way down here, connected to something or something else, then I would be having an issue because I'd run out of channels. Let me demonstrate that right now, actually. So let's see, what, what do I want to do? Okay, this will be a good demonstration. So I'm going to take... Hmm. How did I originally plan to do this? Oh, I know what I planned to do. That's why I made the extra. Yeah, okay. All right, there we go. That's what I was planning on doing. Derp. Okay. So if I jump up to here, right? Let's take a look at this. I made an extra interface. Okay. And then let's jump back down. So the interface is going to use a data channel. All right. And because what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to get that out, take this out, because I want that stored in the network. Let me just make sure this is still configured. Um, yeah, that's not what I wanted. You should have an item filter in you. And these cables aren't even necessary. Oh, gosh. Now I'm going to have to down there and all right there we go all right problem solved you lost your connection great great are you actually filtering yeah you're filtering on a basic really guys really really okay you're filtering on a basic okay this is gonna be interesting um, so I'm now up to eight channels, right? Right. So let me open this guy up. Do I have just a basic item filter? Yeah, I, I do. Awesome. So why don't we jump back down? And I think that actually means that a lot of this item conduiting that I have running around here is not needed anymore. So let's just chunk this in there. And priority really doesn't matter. All right, so this is just pulling everything out, and okay. So I can actually, oops, not what I wanted to do. Are you guys serious? Come on. I know you guys have pathfinding, but this is just a little silly. Okay, so now that's working, that's working. Most of this stuff isn't necessary anymore. So I can just take it right out of this bundle. I don't know why it goes flying across the room, but it likes to do that. That's not necessary. That's not necessary. And I am missing an item conduit somewhere, but God knows where it is. Okay, good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Let's do this. I'm going to connect to the back of this guy, right? And then I'm going to... Come on! Oh, I know why. This is spawnable. Hold on. All right, there we go. I'm like, why, are, why am I having such issues with these guys today? All right, so let's jump back up. Because we need to get the import from that chest working again. And I don't need this thing anymore. I can put it away. And that away. Okay. And I should have... A conduit facade or two. I only need one, to be honest with you. And uh, that, and that. All right. So I have this chest, right? Uh, I guess I need two. Let's come over here. Let's go conduit, facade. And 
painting machine conduit facade. There we go. Okay. So, right. This guy, of course, is going to be an extract active without signal. And I'm going to have to get down there to get in there, but that's neither here nor there. And then this guy is going to have, excuse me, one of my mod item filters on it. All right. And I'll show you why in a second. Okay. Um, yeah. This is going to be tricky. This is going to be very, very tricky. No, it won't be. No, it won't be. Okay. I know what I'm doing. All right. Uh, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. So... Okay, now I'm at that point where I'm like, how do I want to do this? Great. Because um, I don't want, and I can't. Yeah, all right. So if I flip this guy around, right? I have it on insert, mod item filter. And we're going to tell it to do chisel blocks. But here's the problem, right? If I do this, I'm going to have the chisel blocks like marble winding up over here. So let's just search for chisel. Oh gosh. Cobblestone. Okay, good. So I'm going to have the standard marble showing up in here, but I have a solution. Okay, so let's tell it he can store chisel blocks priority two. Okay. Actually, you know what? It should be fine. Yeah, because if it overflows, it's just going to dump into there. It's no big deal. Okay. So let's jump back down and take a look at this. All right. So we have these guys connected. So any chisel blocks are going to get pulled out and junked into this thing. Right? Right. If I get back there. Okay, chisel blocks go in here, right? And then... Uh, huh. I need another interface for this. Right. Alright, so interface. Oops, and I need some more of these annihilation cores. <sighs> and of course, it's not cooperating. Oh, I didn't want you to. <sighs> it's irritating when it starts doing this. All right, and then I just need some of that printed silicon, which I don't have any in there because I'm an idiot. All right, so let's go printed silicon, right? And we can just chuck the printed silicon in here. Let's do that. And I need a calculation press. There we go. Now we're in business. Okay, so let's do that. And that gets us that. We can look back up at the interface. Interfaces are useful, all right? And I'm only using them for kind of one of their features right now, but you guys will see more as time goes on. Basically, whenever anything's piped into an interface, it automatically goes into the network without an import bus as fast as it's piped in, okay? So then we're going to put our interface right down here, okay? Uh, that's not going to work. We're going to put our interface right up here. Ah, that's how that's going to work. Okay. However, I think we have a problem now. Casarian just earned the achievement. Network Apprentice. Yay! I don't know what that does, but okay. I don't even know how I got it, but okay. So if I connect this ME glass cable to the front, because it'll connect in, don't worry about it, and I get my import bus... Hey, wait, what happened? Device missing channel. That's because I now have nine devices connected. 
And if you don't have a specific block, you can only ever have nine devices connected to your network. What's that block? It's the ME controller. Okay. Ooh, we're out of Flux, Flux crystals. Right. Okay. Let's do that. Let's get some more redstone and some nether quartz. Oh, and this is probably done by now. Right. It's always good to know. Certus quartz, redstone, nether quartz. Give it a couple seconds. Oh, it has to be charged Certus Quartz. That's right. Oh, right. All right. We're going to need a lot more charged Certus Quartz at some point soon. Okay, so now if I throw this stuff in... See, I do remember things from time to time. Hey, would you look at that? All right. And then we have 64 of those, so we throw them in the grinder. Sack mill, please. And just for right now... We'll do this. There we go. This entire thing, once again, is making this incredibly easier. So we'll just drop that in there. And that should grow up in a couple seconds. Because remember, those things actually go pretty fast. All right. So what we can now do, too, is we can actually get rid of this chest. Okay. Because we're actually going to hook that in to that same interface. Which is why having these item conduits is going to be wicked handy. All right. So interface is over here, right? Right. Okay. So. Oops. Of course, I'm falling down everywhere. All right. Interface is on this block. Oops. Oh, right, because it has that lip I put in. Right, okay. And this will have to move eventually because we're going to be filling this out, but... So connect to that. And what we'll do is we'll just run it directly into there. And it would also behoove us to flip that over. So now that's inputting into there. The other thing you can do with the interface, by the way, is you can configure it to keep items in the interface, okay? Anything that's not configured to stay in there gets pulled into the network, all right? So it is a handy, handy way to kind of, you know, pull items into the network without using all of those import buses and, you know, that sort of thing. Especially if, you have, if you're kind of already connecting it to a pre-existing piping network. Oh. They're not grown yet. There you go. So if you're connected to a pre-existing piping network, that stuff can be wicked useful. All right, so you're set up correctly. You're pulling out correctly. Okay. And then what we can do is we can also get ourselves something else I've wanted. So if we grab some cobble, just to demonstrate this to you guys, and then we look at upgrade... Okay, it's Ender IO. It's around. There we go. Item conduit speed upgrade. Just a piston. That's all we need. We'll just throw it right. So let's watch this. Okay. So if I throw the 64 in, it's coming out four at a time, right? So let me throw this in. Increases item speed by four. Okay. So now it's going to pull out. Eight at a time. Okay. We can keep putting that in. It'll increase it. It's wicked handy, especially with the amount of mining I end up doing. All right. So now let's grab this stuff. 
and let's take a look. Now, the cable we're using right now can only transfer eight channels at a time, okay? That's important to remember, eight channels, all right? Now, let's look back at that controller. Now, by the way, use a Skystone block, just that you get that Skystone that we had earlier and uh, just smelt it up to get Skystone block. And what we're going to do is we're going to come down to here and we're actually going to remove this guy, which will shut down our entire network. We're going to put the controller in and the controller acts as an energy acceptor. Okay. And that drive is connected to its top channel. So right now everything's running off of this. That controller can handle up to 32 channels to a side. I just heard someone go, but Kess, you just said to us that that can only, each of these cables can only handle eight. Well, that's also why we have something called dense cable, okay? So you have dense cable of all different colors, and it's just, you know, four cable, redstone, and glowstone. Or we can go with the de ME dense conduit which is four ME conduit and five more conduit binder, okay? So it's just kind of a, what do you want to do with it and how do you want it to, you know, work? I like the ME conduit for long distance runs um, simply because it works better. So the raw marble's gonna end up in there for right now, but that's not much I can do about it. Um, or is there, or is there, or is there, or is there? Priority one. So if I get myself an item filter, right? Just a good old fashioned item filter. And then I look at marble, raw marble from chisel. Okay. And then I drop back downstairs. And... I hook this up, right? I set it to insert. I put that there. Priority two, whitelist only marble, right? Because then that's priority one. So what we should see happen here is if I go back upstairs, right? Oh, that's my timer. If I go back upstairs and I take out my marble and my marble brick, the marble brick will go in here, right? So if I take that back out, I have 18 marble brick, 18 marble brick. Okay, great. So that fixed that problem. That's good. Cause that actually had me worried for, I'm like, how the heck am I gonna do that? All right, so let me just drop this stuff off. I'll get full stack cobble out. And I think that about wraps up this episode. Took a little bit longer than I expected to get this working. But we now have an ME network. And you guys can probably figure out how I'm going to do my auto processing and all that stuff. But I kind of want to rearrange down there anyways. Um, and this seems like a pretty good chance to go and do that. And just kind of rearrange how this entire system works. It's not going to be hooked up for right now. Because, well, it's not. You know, it's not hooked up at all. In fact, I can get rid of most of this item conduit right now. Oops, that's not what I wanted. That was my ME conduit I just removed. Yeah, getting rid of this stuff can sometimes be a bit of a monumental pain in the rear end. All right, so where's that going? I can't even tell where that's going anymore. Okay, so this is the processing line. Okay, good. So guys, this has been Mr. Kassarian. I'm gonna remove a whole bunch of this stuff. I may move some wiring and do just general kind of maintenance-y, housekeeping-y sort of junk. Um, but anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. This has been Mr. Kassarian. If you liked, enjoyed, or found this episode at all educational, please feel free to give me a like, a comment, a subscription. Let me know that you guys are out there and that you guys like what I do. So thank you so much. And as always, guys, happy mining.